Hello Rockers and Mercuryans, Rock Mercury here. Welcome to the Rock Mercury Podcast. I am here tonight. I'm just going to go to bed soon. I want to come on for a moment while I drink my green tea, the green juice. Did I, say, I think I labeled this. I think I labeled this video green tea, but it's called green juice. It's green juice for my sister. Today was juicing day super excited to have some juice i've already had some of this today but i just love this juice so cleansing for the nighttime this one has all types of greens in there and um some lemon so it's a lime lime and sea moss i believe there's sea moss in this one um but it's just a really fresh green juice i'm gonna go ahead and mix it up mix it all up had a gorgeous day today of um of helping out my sister's juice juice company. She made like three different juices today. I'm gonna do a photo shoot for them tomorrow. Um, oh, so good. Had some family dinner. That family dinner was amazing. Really sweet. I didn't really eat anything there, but it was just nice to be around the family. And, um, and my drama full, my negative energy family wasn't there so they chose not to come and i was like you know what that's great that's great when you stand up and you're confident in your life in your space the negativity just chooses to fade away into the background the light blocks them out and so it was great i just realized like i just wish i never allowed negativity and toxic people to have any power in my life and now I don't. So it was just really great. Um, Elijah says, bros majestic. Okay, thank you. Elijah says, I've seen your videos on the hub. Okay, we're on TikTok now. So we won't be talking about that. But thank you, I guess. Mm. Ah, so tasty. I think there's also some green apples in this drink. I taste some like some acidicness in a good way um so yeah it was just a really beautiful day like in the past i always felt like i had i had fomo from missing out on like family dinners and things because i had a toxic person that was like being homophobic to me like a toxic ex family member i don't call them family anymore but an ex family member, but her sister was there today, which was amazing. I'm cool with her sister. Isn't it crazy? One person could be trash, but then their sister or sibling could be amazing. That's so bizarre. But anyway, that's how it worked out. So it's good to see her sister. I had a great time hanging with her. Um, she's good people. She's really good people. It's not her fault that her sister is the way it is. She is. Um, but yeah, I just I just really enjoy my myself. Um, and it just felt like old times again without this toxic person. Like, I'm totally okay with cutting out toxic people out of my life. I think it's because I've been to so many different schools. Like, in my 12 years of school, like, just in high school, like, in, you know, grade school, I went to eight different schools in 12 years. Eight different schools. You know, it's a lot of moving. It's a lot of new people and being able to adjust. And so I'm really realizing now that it's like not that big of a deal to cut it off and keep moving. Um, I'm blessed to have some amazing long-term friends, but none of them are from high school. Like, I don't really, I mean, I have one friend that's from high school. We don't talk that often. No drama, but just, we just don't talk that often. Um, but like really not that often. Like I remember the last time we even talked. Um, but my other friends from like as an adult that are the ones I've chosen as an adult as a free person We talk all the time every week mostly every day. So it's um I just really am thankful for that But at first I used to feel bad because I know a lot of people who have high school friends But they also have high school drama and they live within high school drama And even though I live a mile away from my high school right now like, I live right down the street from my high school I grew up at. I don't know anybody. 
even the person I talked about, they're in a different state. So I don't even remember anybody or talk to anybody from my high school. I'm just here because I love this area. <laughs> this area is beautiful. It's a, it's a heaven. It's a, it's a haven. You know, it's so gorgeous. I feel safe here. Um, the houses are gorgeous. Like, to the lake. There's just... The weather's amazing. Like, I live for it. You know, Los Angeles is burning right now. Even though I'm from there. it's It really is burning, and I don't miss it. So... I'm gonna keep my I'm gonna keep my house there, um, cause I can still do business there. But I don't I just don't miss it. I just don't miss it. Um, Richard says, "What are you wearing?" I'm wearing a Puerto Rico shirt. Isn't it amazing? It's so beautiful. I got this at Goodwill for five dollars. It probably would have cost me like fifty bucks or something. I don't know. It's it's such a good shirt. But it was $5. I, I mean, I just, I keep telling you guys, Goodwill and thrift stores are everything. Never feel like that you're being cheap or something or, oh, or feel bad or feel judgmental towards yourself for shopping at thrift stores. They are the best stores to shop at. You get the best, not only the best deals, but the best treasures. Like, who's going to sell this? Who's selling this shirt? Puerto Rico. Who's gonna sell this shirt at a re at a regular store? No one. But Goodwill had it. Five, of course, I washed it multiple times, but it's amazing. I get so many good things. I'm excited to go to another Goodwill next. I'm gonna go to the rich area called River Oaks in Houston. I'm in Houston. Somebody asked me where I am. Where am I? Um, Cord Cordy says, Cordy B says, me too. Yeah, we, sometimes you got to keep moving. Um, Locke says, oh, Jock says, could you call on your high school friends if you'd like? No, I couldn't. I could not call on them because I don't remember their names. And honestly, I spent most of my high school lunches in the library playing with the computers because back then computers were still not that powerful as they are now. So I was always on the computers. I used to go in there and um, look at food books. I love looking at food because I hated the food in the, in the cafeteria. And even when I brought my lunch, it was like never like that great to me. So I just like to look at good food in the cafeteria and in the books. Cause in the, in the library, they let you go in there at lunchtime. I went there every day. And you can just go through and look at all the beautiful recipes. And then I play chess. I would play chess against myself. Because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like I didn't like socializing with people. So I play chess. But I was popular in my senior year because I was really close friends with the most popular person kid, the most popular guy in school. But I was only friends with him. I wasn't friends with his friends. I was only friends with him because I liked him. <laughs> he was the hottest person at school. Um, and we were close. And we stayed close afterwards, after school. I think we, I stopped like, I don't, I think that we lost contact after I started date, after I started coming out the closet and dated guys. And... I don't know if he was homophobic. I don't feel like he was because he did meet my my husband, my ex-husband. He met him once in Bassing and he didn't seem homophobic. He didn't, I was actually surprised. He was just like, oh, okay, hey, what's up, man? You know, he kept it real chill. He's so hot still, oh my God. Anyway, um, but we used to be really close. But I feel like when I came out the closet, I was too nervous for the rejection of like somebody who I was close to. Um... Hold on, I have to go. Oh, I think she's going to. Oh, she got up already. My sister got him already. Sorry. Um, and my nephew's crying, I think. Yeah, sorry. But she's, she's already got up. 
Um, but yeah, so anyway, I I heard I'm listening to the I'm listening to the sounds up there. But um but yeah, so I think that that's how that whole situation went. It was just like a it was just gonna happen, you know. Like I felt like we were gonna separate part ways. Now I don't even know his number anymore. I don't, like he he was like, oh, call me, call me, let's let's hang out. I was like, I literally, I thought I could find him on Facebook. He's nowhere on Facebook. He's nowhere on Facebook. Um, nowhere on Instagram. Everybody has that one that got away. And I really feel like he's that one that got away from me. Not my ex-husband, but my, but my that ex-friend. And we never had, we never had a falling out. But I just felt like. When I came out, that I had to separate from people because I just wasn't sure of the reaction that I was gonna get, and I was like, "Screw it! I'd rather just be solo because I really was in enough pain internally. I'm like, I don't want to deal with like coming out to my family did not go well, not that well. It's better now, like now, now it's fine, but back then it was really hard, um, and so I just felt like. It was better to just part ways. Um, but it was easy for me to do because I've moved around so much. So, it sucks. I mean, I would have loved to have been closer to that person. But I think I wasn't mature enough to have just a regular friendship outside of the attraction that I had for that person. And come at the closet part too. So... It's just, it was just a rough, I'm looking back, I look back at it, I'm like, dang, like, we all have that one that got away. Um, but, I mean, I guess he didn't get away, because he, I think he, I mean, he says he was straight, and he probably was, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't remember him ever dating a, dating a girl, I remember him, um, like, entertaining women, but I never remember him dating one seriously, or, like, ever really caring. You know, I never, I don't, I never remember that. And so maybe, I don't know, some, sometimes my, my mind goes to that place. And I'm like, oh, like, what if something could have happened? What if we could have had something more, you know? But anyway, that's just living in a fantasy land. But that's the only, like, high school situation that I really kept. Like, fueled. Um, but I'm thankful, like... I I thought that like oh well I, I mean I can't I can't have long term friends like no I think that I got my long term friends when I came into myself like when I knew who I was then I was able to choose the people who I wanted to be around and now I love my friends like I, I only have a few friends that I really consider people that I talk to like in depth and. Yeah, I think it's because they're my chosen people. Like, I chose them, and they chose me. And we never had any drama. Any of my friends, we never even had a fight before. We all, we just, we just support each other. We keep it real with each other. Love them dearly. Like, it's just no drama. Like, I don't even understand these reality TV shows. Um, I don't understand how this drama happens. Like, how do they get all this drama every day, every week? Like, what? I don't know. I don't know. Um, user says, where is this you're speaking of? I'm Houston. I'm in Houston now, but I'm from Los Angeles. Let's see. C.W. Goodman says, saw you in the Dahmer movie, standing next to Niecy Nash. Yep. Um, I used to go to church with Niecy Nash. She was a friend of my mom's. Um... I didn't even know she would be this famous. Happy for her. It was good to see her on set. Um, she remembered me. So it was nice to see her. I, I really didn't even know that she was going to be in that, in that movie. So it was a pleasant surprise. Such a round. I'm so happy for the accolades she's getting. She's an amazing actress. I'm not going to watch this particular series, as, I, as I've said, because it's about a serial killer, and I just... Is triggering for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip it. But I did watch my part. I like I skipped through and saw just that section, 
because it's short, so I saw that. It didn't have any gruesome things in it. It has some questionable CGI in that scene. So if you saw it, then you know. But it was decent CGI. It wasn't like, I think my TV, our TV, we have a huge, like 75 inch TV. And I think it's just too high definition. Or not too high, but like very high definition. And the CGI looked a little bit suspect. Because I'm like, the TV just is too clear. That's probably why. If it was like a normal TV, then maybe it would work better <laughs> to for, for the CGI they did. <laughs> um, really, really says, tap in with the telegram, get in the chill, get you some motion. What in the world? F.W. Santos says, do you support the LGBTQ? Absolutely not. I think they're a cult. Um, Big Sky Cade says, were you ever in a movie or TV show? You look so familiar. Yes, I've been on your TV screen multiple times. Many times. So, yeah. I've been in a lot of commercials, a lot of TV shows, and many movies. So, that's why you recognize me. But whatever. Next question. User says, I thought I was the only one that did that. I love looking at cookbooks and those cool photos. Yes. It made me, it, it was so great. Like, after eating a very mediocre meal at school, in high school, just to, like, look at some good food after as you're eating your white, your white bread sandwich or some trash food for lunch. Um, and looking at, like, a delicious gourmet meal. It made me happy. Like, I love doing that at lunchtime. I didn't talk to anybody. I only talked to people when I was in class. Yeah. Um, user says, How can you tell if someone is homophobic towards you? Um... Well, in my uh, in my ex aunt's case, she was very clear about her homophobia. She made it seem as if when I came out that I was a different person or something, and she pushed her belief structure on me and tried to patronize me and be politically correct in order in order to find ways to um, cut me out of the situation or to cut me out of the family situations. So I finally had enough of it. I cussed her the F out. I cussed her the F out. And I cussed my uncle out too. I told them they're both trash and they, they need to delete my number. I cussed them out. I said a lot of things. I can't say it on TikTok because it's like, I'll probably get banned. But I cussed them out as they deserve to be. And um, that's, that's the way you, you got to handle homophobia. Like if they want to be ignorant and rude, I can do it too. So I did that, um, and I don't regret it. I only regret the um, the typos that I had while I cussed them out through text. I would have cussed them out in person, but they're too weak for that. A lot of homophobic, homophobic people hide behind their keyboards. So I said, okay, two of us can play this keyboard game. Let's do it. I'm down for in person. I can meet you in the parking lot. Like, I don't care. But, whatever. It's handled now. She knows not to even look at me when she sees me in public. And him either. So. I don't care. Um, I am I am two vampire says, what's your shirt? I already explained that. Um, Yo, it's zero says, how do you recover your body from being sore after a workout? Rest yourself, hydrate yourself, um, and eat some really good, like, solid food so that your body has fuel in order to repair. It's hard to repair without fuel, or impossible to, so those are the things. Those are the things. Um, Big Dog says, follow the host. 
Oh, thank you for the big hug. Thank you for the follow, big dog. Mm -mm. <sighs> okay. Well, I'm watching an episode of Tasha K where she's interviewing Blueface's mom. Now, Blueface, I don't think is talented. <laughs> I'm confused on how that even happened. He's, he's kind of attractive, kind of. Um, it's kind of a mess. Um, I like the song Bust Down Daltiana. Um, but only because the hook is interesting. But the verses make me so mad because they're so bad. Um, it's very cringe. But whatever. Anyway, his mother is being interviewed by Tasha K. And right now, Blueface and this girl named Krishan Rock are like the most popular couple right now. They're so toxic. People are calling them the new Whitney and Bobby. But they wish they could be that. They have not even a, a, an ounce of talent combined. Um, but for some reason, people are obsessed with the train wreck that they are. So, I'm watching the interview. They've, she's got it in a fight with, I mean, um, Blueface's mother has got it in a fight with his girlfriend and, you know, her son went to jail, the daughter is the only one doing well, apparently. Um, I don't know. There's just a lot of drama, but I really like the interview. I love hearing from the mother and her point of view and what she did right and what she did wrong. Um, Blueface ended up kicking out his own mother even after she hustled and struggled in Los Angeles to provide for them. But I feel like she's a very supportive mother and very understanding that because of the, the trauma that she had when she was with Blueface's father, um, that it's almost like Blueface is repeating that pattern by dating somebody like her at that time before she evolved. Like somebody who was reckless and just want to fight all the time, want to fight. And I thought that was very big of her and very evolved of her to recognize the toxicity that she has. Um, the toxicity that she has karmically bestowed upon her son's life because he experienced it with her and now he found somebody just like her who... It's just creating drama and chaos. And based on what she was saying, she doesn't he doesn't even love her like that. But she's he's over here filming her, filming Krishan Rock, throwing up out of a car window, falling over in hotel hallways, um, cussing him out, losing her tooth. Like just really ghetto activity. And if you love somebody, you don't film them when they're in their low points. You support them and help them up to get off the toilet <laughs> that they're laying their head in, you know? So I just, I really hate seeing this couple. I know that he's doing it because he wants the attention. I don't think he even cares about this person. It's just very sad. But I feel for the mother because she's really did not want this, like, but also she understands it. And I love that she's not making herself a victim. She's being very raw in it. So I suggest if you guys get a moment to watch on YouTube the Tasha K interview with Blueface's mother. That's the interview. Let me see what the name is. It's called Exclusive Blueface Mother Clarissa Tells All. It's childhood, threesomes, ch chison, 
Oh, sorry, Krishan, hygiene, and more. You know? Like, I'm, I'm 58 minutes in, and there's two hours and 35 minutes of this interview. So, all I gotta say is Tasha K. Tasha K is the GOAT. I don't know why. Like, I used to watch Hollywood a lot. It's too biased for me. There's too much negative energy in it. I used to be part of the gagging family, too, but I just... I've, I've evolved past that. I'm not really interested anymore. I feel like it's just not... There's not, there's not like, an upward, forward-moving energy to Hollywood Unlocked. I feel that with Tasha K, even though she talks mess about people, I feel like she still gives them a fair chance and a fair opportunity with her million followers, or over a million followers, to share their story. And I respect that. I respect that hard, hardcore. So, anyways, I gotta go to bed because I gotta wake up really early tomorrow for a little work. So, thank you guys for joining me. I really enjoyed myself. Um, I'm gonna put my bonnet on and take myself to sleep. Oh, it's been a good night, a good day. Don't let anyone block you from your joy. Don't do it. Don't do it. So I'm going to rest because I did work out today. So I'm going to rest now. Um, I'm at 190 of pounds. And I'm trying to get to 200. So that means I only have 10 pounds left. And I'm at 10 of 200. Wait, I'm at one. Oop, I'm wrong. I'm at 178. I'm way far off. I'm at 178.9. So like 179. So I have 20 pounds left. 21 pounds. Oh, that's a lot more. Anyways, I'm just going to keep on eating. I'm only saying that because of the person who said, how do you recover your body from being sore after a workout? Sometimes our bones need more muscle around them to keep ourselves from being too, keep our joints from overworking. And so... You want to find that balance of like muscle around. You don't want just like flabbiness. You want it to be muscular around the bones and the joints to protect it when it's moving. So that's what I believe could help when you're sore. You know, consume as much as you can of things you like and things that are healthy. And then your body can help to reinforce the joints and the bones. So, all right, I'm exhausted. I'm going to sleep right away. Good night. Have a good night, you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining me. Rock on, Mercuryans. This live will be available tomorrow. Bye. I'm so sleepy. All right, bye.